One laptop per child project launched with visions of delivering 5 million laptops costing as little as $100 to poor children around the world. Today, million scale orders haven't come in and the machines cost $188. But manufacturing is now underway and Peru is one of the first countries to take a big plunge with 400,000 laptops destined for rural schools this year. This village, Araway, was one of the first to get prototypes several months ago. This year, 2008, I assumed the responsibility of principal of this school. The principal last year was Mr. Guillermo Lasso Navarro. We have seven teachers in the secondary school and three teachers in the elementary school. We have around 120 students, most of them being from around this neighborhood. However, there are a few who travel from a bit far. The curriculum is in accordance to our reality and the students are children of farmers and cattle breeders. For them, this technology was a great innovation, which they received very enthusiastically. Laptops and internet are very important for the students here because it helps them to maintain themselves informed and updated in what is happening around the world. Since this area sometimes lacks electricity for over weeks, the biggest outcome of this innovation is that the children in our Waihai have developed great abilities and skills handling these laptops. The children clearly had no problems navigating their way around the laptops. Many were playing Tetris or using the built-in camera to take pictures of each other but the teachers were also making them type out classroom rules in a word processing document. Wireless internet had been installed last year and the teachers gave the kids web addresses where they could look up history lessons or find out information about local animals and plants. In this elementary school, we have around 50 students from the first to the sixth grade. The students range in ages of six and 12 years old. A while ago, they used to read books given by the ministry. However, a book cost around 80 to 90 soles, and not all of them could afford that. Now my students are up to date, and they know how to use the laptops, which provides more accessibility to information. What they normally do at school is to follow the curriculum we developed here. For example, we have different activities divided into subjects. They are to do research on the internet or investigate about some specific themes or subjects. They also do some math work, such as comparing the results from the computer with the ones they obtained on their own. They also found four or six books with short stories on the internet. For example, Juan Without Fear or The Kidney Beans, etc. Normally, we use the laptops for one to two hours daily in the classroom. The rest of the school time, they do homework. And after school, they take the laptops home and they can have fun with them, such as taking pictures, drawings, and so on. Every day after school, nine-year-old Milton Quisquicandor brings his laptop home with him. His father, Hubert, is a Quechua speaker who farms potatoes and corn in the area, continuing a, a tradition that spans generations. Milton is the first member of his family to use a computer. When he arrived home, the first thing he did was play Tetris. Then he drew a picture of a house on his laptop's art program. Finally, he opened and read a book, a Spanish translation, of Jack and the Magic Beanstalk. Determinó mandar a Periquín a la ciudad para que ahí intentase vender la única vaca que poseían. Hubert stood silently over his son. As for his reaction, 
he expressed pride in his broken Spanish.